okay, this is crazy. This is probably the coolest thing that I've seen in the last year. Google basically have added Google Gemini into their app studio, basically Firebase, and they've created a thing called Studio, AI Studio inside of Firebase, which basically means that we can create an app like this one showing on screen, or even better, like I created this in five minutes. All right, I'm only brand new at it. You spend time with it, spend a day with it, you're gonna be able to create an absolutely awesome app. But I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps to actually do it because it's, it's child's play now. We talk to the app, we update it, we have some little issues with it. There's a little process that we go through and at the end of it, we upload it online, we get our apps online and then we sell it or we add a subscription element to it, or we kind of put advertisements in it, whatever it actually is. This is crazy. I'm super excited about this. We're building in this video a note-taking app which stores locally on your mobile device. So you can follow along and create it for your own mobile device. You can store it on Firebase with Google AI and you can then have it on your mobile phone as well where you can take apps and you keep or you can take notes and do all that kind of malarkey okay so this is cool i'm, I'm blown away by it guys my name's kieran doyle um if you're new here really do hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed actually going through and making it again because i've only made a few apps but to be like i've never well only a few apps over the last couple of days but as a non-technical person which i'm i, I hate tech this was unbelievably easy okay unbelievably easy so look with that said look at i hope you uh like it look at if you do comment let me know what you think and let's get into this okay so here we are over at firebase studio now this is basically google gemini baked in to a, pretty much the an app creation studio now, the, the beautiful thing about Google Gemini being in here is that Google Gemini can pretty much just create your app, okay? So you just need to give it some simple instructions. Now, what I like to do, and look at, this is up to you, but this is just how I do it. You can utilize this here, and you can ask it, because it's Google Gemini, to outline an app for something, okay? So let's go... Okay, so something like that, okay? So prototype with AI. Okay, so what it's done is it's created something called local notes, create a note, display notes, edit notes, delete notes, tag notes, color, layout, iconography, animation. Okay, now for me, I'm not a big fan of those colors, so I like these colors, okay? Update the entire app to use the following color scheme, background, primary ascent, bu bullets or buttons, icons, outlines in that color, text, white or light tones now just let's put text white okay primary accent and let's click go and so what it's going to do is it's just going to as you we can see background change the colors and then it's going to put white there all right so that's as simple as it is to update the colors now i could have just said can you put it mint green can you put it navy blue and all that kind of thing but i'm very specific when it comes to my colors i've got these colors here in products that i work in and stuff like that okay so once we've done that, we're just going to prototype the app. Now, what the prototype basically is, is it's just kind of like the first working version of the app. It's not the finished version. It's just the first working version to give you an idea, an idea of the functionality and the, the base overview of the app that's actually created. Now, we don't really have to do anything here. We just have to wait for Gemini to actually create this. So while it's doing this, the next part would be is actually updating the user interface. So how it actually looks. So if we look again quickly at my mobile phone here and I look at the app that I created here, basically, if you look, idea spark, then idea title, idea description, add button, and then it's got some like little pretty, you probably can't see it. Um, you got some little pretty kind of notes with like uh, little dustbins on them that you can delete and stuff. So here's local notes, okay? It's not really great, is it? Looks looks a little bit uh, rubbish. We could add a note. Ah, look, uh, to be honest, I quite like that. That's uh, that's That's pretty cool. 
Look, let's uh, let's have a look. Let's see how it works on um, here, and let's put in um, test note app. Okay, an app for saving normal test answers. Okay, and we're just gonna click add note. Okay, all right. Wow, this is pretty cool. Okay, so I uh, I quite like that. So it's done a it's done a it's done a pretty good job straight away. Um, what I might say is, can we make this a little more modern? Keep the keep the colors, but make the car the saved cards the saved uh, note cards a uh, mix of the green color. Okay, so what I'm asking it to basically do is to just update the coloring elements of this section here okay now the thing is i could ask it to you know put in special icons and all of this all right but then i'd have to go and i'd probably ask chat gpt and say hey where can i get free icons that my app can actually use and it will go to font awesome, font awesome etc okay so now you see i should probably shouldn't have done that look at what it's actually done to it um i want the background the same navy blue color okay now probably i could have said can you revert to the previous version of that because i don't like this but to be honest i'm only new at this i'm only started doing it because i'm i'm not a coder i don't build in firebase but the reason that i wanted to show you is that this is really a game changer i don't like using the 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 word game changer very often um this is this has taken me just a couple of minutes. I only started playing with this yesterday, as I said. So if you are good at this sort of thing, like if you if you have great ideas, if you understand how to communicate, now that's much better. Okay, that is much better. I much prefer that. So that looks really good. So what we're going to do to get it online is simple: publish. Okay, and what it's basically going to do over here on the side is. This is how quick it is. All right. This is this is literally how quick it is. Um, okay. So publish your app. Okay. You, we use Firebase app hosting to host your application. Now for Firebase app hosting, you get a certain amount of free credit per month. So if you're using it yourself or if you're kind of like selling it to a small group of people, well, then you get it for free. Okay. So we're just going to click a Firebase product. Uh, it's going to say link your billing account. Okay. So if you haven't set up cloud billing account, you need to do that. Okay. So I'm going to choose my billing account. I'm going to choose next. So I have this billing account set up because I actually have apps online that I haven't created, but to be honest now i'm just going to create the apps because this is so easy to do and then all we're going to do is it says create rollout okay so it's going to roll out now this is going to take about a minute to actually do and then once it's actually done it's gonna i'm going to send it to my phone and we're going to open it on my phone okay and that took actually it took a little bit longer it took about 10 minutes to actually do so i've been sat here uh but let's open it up in DuckDuckGo, see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a, a plain boring app like that. But if I click add note, then up pops this section here. Okay, so you'll see this on screen now. So basically it's just a normal looking uh, empty screen. You can click add note, and then we're just gonna go test note app, and then we're gonna go, okay, and boom. There it is. That's it. If we want to edit it, we can go in and edit it. We want to update the note if we want. We want to delete the note. Super, super simple. But the idea behind this, guys, is the fact that that took a few minutes to actually do. If you spend a day working with this, you're going to be kick ass with it. Like, seriously. And that's when you can put them up online and you can actually get paid for them. All right, spend a bit of time on it. Go through this training. It was super easy to follow and just do it. Look, my name's been Kieran Doyle. Hope you enjoyed this. Just don't be afraid of making mistakes with these things, okay? Um, if you enjoyed it, I hope you give me a, a like and a subscribe and a comment down below and, you know, keep it easy.